Ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to be checking out this $20,000 home humanoid robot that is uh, that uses AI. You can talk to it, and supposedly it'll help you do things around the house. It'll carry things. Um, it'll have a conversation with you and, uh, you know, whatnot. And so here we are. We have this video. We have this video by the Wall Street Journal. It's called, I Tried the First Humanoid Home Robot. It Got Weird. And so, uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and leave a like. Bam. Okay. Thank you, Wall Street Journal. So yeah, without further ado, let's just hop right in here and, and react to this video. It's here, the first humanoid robot housekeeper. Thank you, Neo. For $20,000, you can pre-order 1X's Neo robot now with delivery in 2026. I think you missed a tiny spot over here. Just one little catch. There may be a human behind the curtain pulling the robot strings. If I throw up, will the robot throw up? Um, a company representative may need to peer into your house via Neo's camera eyes to get things done. To many people, this is crazy. You have to be okay with this for the product to be useful. But is Neo a useful product? We're twinning now, Neo. Home robots have had two big challenges, creating a safe and All right, so see, that's misleading. That is misleading and that is weird. I want a real robot that uses AI to help you in your household it's not a robot why are you gonna call it a home robot it's not neo it's 70 degrees here in california <clears throat> why are you wearing a sweater good question burnt why am i wearing a sweater it's a combination of safety and just also generally aesthetics you can think of it kind of like a skin except if it was an actual skin that would probably be pretty creepy it would be creepy but i actually wasn't all that creeped out by neo Inside Neo, it really starts with some very, very powerful motors that we have developed here at One X. These motors are so strong and light that instead of using the classical gears that you see in robots, we can actually pull on tendons loosely inspired by biology and muscles. This allows Neo to move around not just quietly and smoothly, but also be very, very lightweight and be very low energy in motion, just like people. Bert, you, this is so misleading. Who on God's green earth is gonna, uh, like, yeah, come into my house with your VR headset at the burnt headquarters and, and get a, a glimpse into my home, my household, and do sh That is, there, no way, dude. Dude, that, what kind of meth? What are they smoking, bruh? This isn't what people want. Dude, I was expecting a real f robot that, that uses AI and listens to commands and actually does it analyzes the environment around it and can actually do $20,000 for, for an employee at, at, at the one X headquarters just f playing all day with a, a headset at that point just hire the employee to live in your house with you now they have all now they've created a job for people to work at home with their oculuses they're getting a glimpse into other people's homes through their robot that's a gray area that's like a um that's just asking for issues what if i'm on the couch wanking off and deborah taps into the home robot what is she is she gonna come help finish it off the title's misleading but the part they got right is it did get weird weight design is intended for our safety <clears throat> in case the 66 pound robot falls although neo is capable of lifting up to 150 pounds it's not as superhuman as you'd think. God. 150 pounds? That woman is probably 150 pounds. He could pick this bitch up and throw her through the glass door and, and just go ape. And we would, uh, Sean Connor is going to come from the future to tell us about this guy. What is that? A, what the fuck is that? A walnut? Crush it. It's a walnut. What is this? What kind of f ad is this? You don't even have nobody voicing it over? I have to read this sh We're seeing a massive shift in the way consumers are engaging with the brand. We're seeing all massive shift. Yeah. never been more exciting because the tools and the technology available allow brands to do things they've never- I'm so rich. We're just doing things that are so cool and, and you just need to give us all your money. We're doing stuff that people have never seen before. We're offering the common man all of these tools and softwares and technologies to put them on the same level okay and so now the consumer can become the producer 
for the short price of $69.99 a month. Anybody could pay it. There's this concept, concept that we think that robots are like superhuman in like pressure and yeah. like strength. And some robots are. Because and they should be. Hair. That means you're not sensitive. Right? This dude looks like a robot to me. He looks more like a, no, actually he looks like a lizard person. He is, this, this guy's the real robot. Look at this guy. I, I can't say shit though. This dude's insanely rich. Neo doesn't work like this at all. It works more like us. So the finger strength of Neo is about the same as a human. That body lets Neo you, Dr. Frankenstein. Bro thinks he's Frankenstein. Create new life. Tendons and the finger strength is the same. Can I get a water? If only the real world didn't have doors. All in, it took Neo a little over a minute to fetch a water from the fridge 10 feet away. Thank you, Neo. Next challenge. Operator error. He was just dumb. If that was me, it would have been 30 seconds tops. Okay, I would I would be in your household remotely from my household in my VR Oculus Meta Facebook Quest headset, and I would have gotten you a water, finger blasted you, and it would have been done and said and done deal in 30 seconds tops. Load three items in the dishwasher. You got this, Neo, you got it. Legit question though. Can it shake? <laughs> ah, it can shake it's trying to shake it oh look at him hips boy it can shake if it can do that it can shake if it can do that it can shake the neo i saw isn't the one shipping in 2026 the new model will be safer and have better hand dexterity the one i saw still needed to take breaks to charge and cool down the challenge isn't just Neo's body, it's also its brain. The body has to perform tasks safely, but the brain needs to know how to do them on its own, without human help. But right now, everything I saw Neo do was guided by a skilled pilot. Teleportation is essentially when there is a human in the loop. I actually might throw up. I think my hand is... I have no idea where I'm facing. This is okay. me doing the Macarena. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Why does Neo need to be operated like this in the first place? Because its brain, AKA an AI neural network, needs to learn from more real world experience. The videos of the robot doing things via teleoperation become the training data to make the AI model smarter. In 2026, if you buy this product, it is because you're okay with that social contract. We don't have your data, we can't make the product. Do you right now know what things- The teleoperator does not see you, right? We can blur people. Teleoperator also, cannot go into specific parts of your home where you set no-go zones. So even if the teleoperator would try, they cannot get the robot to go into those homes. And also the teleoperator can never connect to a robot unless you approve it. Other companies like Figure and Tesla are also racing to build humanoid robots and develop their own AI models. Okay, so out of all of these robots, Tesla Optimus looks the most badass to me. This right here looks like um, a child's toy that you would get on Christmas. That being said, it looks the least Terminator-y type of robot. And I don't know if that is this if that is makes it scarier or not. The little beady eyes, scary. Don't like that. I think if they would have just went with a uh just a, a clear face like this on this, I think that would have served a lot better. Okay, just keep the eyes, put a face over it. Like a like a clear, like a those eyes are beady as f I don't like that. It's 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 almost like the principle of uncanny valley. It looks like it's trying to imitate human a little too much, but it just hasn't quite got it. This just looks like a cheaper version of these. That being said, also, these look like it will kill you. This looks like it will pull a gun out of its hand and blow you to f kingdom come. This is Terminator sh right here. Do I have more faith in Tesla than I do 1x 150 percent okay 159.8764 percent 
that Tesla could make a better robot than One X. As someone who's always dreamed of the home robot straight out of the Jetsons. Oh, they're making out. The dream finally feels within Bleh. reach. But I also couldn't shake flashes of Ex Machina. Do you have a name? Six seven. Neo turns on the stove and throws some paper on and walks away. Can Neo do that? Will Neo do that? N Neo will not do that. Physically, can the robot do that? Yes. Physically, can a lot of products in your home do something dangerous if they decided to? Yes. Oh, come on. Why would you even ask that question? It's a humanoid robot. Obviously, it, it has the ability to destroy your home this thing could if you piss the dude off on the room on the on the headset he could probably rear back and molly whop your you start throwing a bunch of racial slurs at it and it molly whops you now you're on the ground and you're uh and you're and you're jerking out and it doesn't even call 911 it watches you die and it ain't strong enough to do cpr so where are we going with this I think that being said, it's not all negative. It's not all bad. I did get bamboozled. I thought we were going to look at an actual robot doing actual robot things. Uh, it just seems that we're not quite there yet. I like to do, say, what is it saying? Bert, Burn, Bert, Benson, Bonnie, Bart, Berthaniel, Bjorn. He's a Bjorn. That's definitely a Bjorn. He's got that Bjorn look to him. His ancestors were Vikings. That's besides the point. I keep getting off track. I'm so ADHD, dude. No, they're going to put these in your home. They're going to collect the data off of it so they can improve the robot. The AI model that it uses can learn off of the um, plethora of data that it'll input to it. And um, the hope is it'll get better at doing things autonomously. That's the goal. That's the goal here. So then we can completely take the human factor out of it. Uh, and honestly, I don't really have a problem with that. I don't have a problem with it. Do I think I could take one of these in hand-to-hand -hand combat? Yeah, 100%. I could take that thing, push it on the ground, and break and stomp on its head until it dies. I could break its arms off limb by limb and beat it over the top of the head with its leg. Um, I could take the gun and shoot that bastard if it came down to it. People are like, yeah, the, 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 we, the, this is getting Terminator esque. Uh, they're gonna, the robots are gonna take over. They, I, they, they may take over you. They ain't taking me over. I got a gun. That is not gonna, this little thing is not gonna overtake me. It's gotta be like four foot five. If you let this, a four foot five hunk of metal whoop your ass. It was, it's survival of the fittest at that point. You deserved it. You deserved it. And you need to go do some type of jujitsu uh, training. You need to listen to a Joe Rogan podcast. You need to do something. Also, why are you worried about it anyway? You are too broke to ever have something like this in your home. Let's be honest. The people complaining about this shit can't afford it. Okay? I don't go around complaining about Teslas or people with big trucks because I can't afford it. I ain't worried about that shit, man. If I can't afford this shit, I ain't worried about it. And this is one of them things, dude. This will never be in my home because I'll never have 20 grand to spend on some shit like this. Let's be real here. You're broke and you can't afford this shit either. So you're good. And I think we can leave it off there, but I do have one more question. When is the female version coming out. And will it be more expensive? Oh, hi there. Seems like you're at the end of the video. That means you've got a couple options. You got this video, you should definitely go watch that one. And also this video, watch that one too. Either way, you need to like and subscribe.